What's going on, people? Mike C-Town here with our Dead and Hip Hop solo album review. And today I'm going to talk about the new EP by Dope Knife entitled Weekend at Brody's. So I don't really remember how me and Dope Knife actually got to talk. And if I had to guess, I think it was probably at one of the, uh, the A3C Fests, which is a yearly hip hop fest that happens in Atlanta. I'm thinking he must have given me a CD. But, uh, you know, I get a lot of CDs at those fests, uh, not because I'm anybody important, but that's just the way things go down there. Everybody's trying to get their shit heard. But the problem is most of those CDs end up on a one-way trip from my house to the nearest landfill. But I do remember one day going through a stack of the CDs that I've gotten at one of the A3Cs, and I remember listening to Dope Knife and thinking, this guy's actually really fucking good. And I know we spoke a couple times on Facebook or something like that, but when he told me he was dropping an EP on Fake 4 as part of their yearly free Sember thing, I was definitely interested in hearing it. But on first listen, he reminds me of someone that would have fit in great with, like, Grave Diggers back in the day. The first song has this really dark and menacing beat with these great samples bouncing off of each other in the background. It also has these fantastic vocals by, and I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to butcher this person's name, and I apologize in advance, but uh, Lingua Franca? I'm not really familiar with this person, but again, great vocals, and Dope Guy manages to suck you in with his flow and delivery immediately. Why you're looking for a payoff, they took you for a weekend at Bernie's and then they made off. Bernie made off, you guys get it? The next song has a more upbeat instrumental with some dope horns and a really nice throwback drum break. It feels very old school high row to me. And then it has a nice toss up to Lost Highway and any rap song with a David Lynch reference automatically gets my seal of approval. But it was Sympathy for Mr. Wong that I actually thought was my favorite song on this whole EP. It has a nice slow beat with a really cool guitar sample. Then he comes and starts the track right off. First things first, fuck every rapper that you heard of. And this is probably my favorite track on the EP because I feel like it's so perfectly him. He fits so well with the beat and sounds so good over it. See, I'm nice with the word, but lines get the blur. When Kendrick Mack begins and Dope Knife occurs, my whole life submerged in actuality, I act stupid. I think I lost my personality to rap music. I think the progression of this beat is actually really dope. I like how as it goes along, it starts to bring in more elements and more layers with distorted guitars, making it noisier and noisier by the time it gets to the hook. It adds a lot of drama to this track, which works really well. And the last track, Fashionable Male, is just straight up shit talking. And he does this shit really well. And for such a humble dude, you would never expect this kind of furious energy on the mic. But this song is just one long nasty verse about just how dope he is with a bunch of random comic book references thrown in there. And again, he comes in spitting. Now pay homage to the god of the rhyme, treat you motherfucker rappers like it's clobbering time. Black version of Optimus Prom with my product design, serve the last person with a soldering iron. And it was actually this next line that caught me as really dope. He says, you punks are puppets in fact, I make niggas play fetch when I'm chucking the axe. Now on first listen, that line didn't jump out at me, but it was when I saw the video that he did for it, and he shows the cover of the Walking Dead comic as he spits that first, for all my people that watch Walking Dead, I now have to assume that that line is in reference to when Negan throws the axe on top of the RV and makes Rick go get it for him. And that makes that verse that much doper to me. The beats are all great on this thing. Dope Knife co-handles the production with Black Caesar, who I'm actually not familiar with, but if this EP is any indication of his standard, then he's clearly very talented. And I don't feel the beats are very regional. But I would say that they take me back to the early 2000s era of indie rap, which if you know me, you know that that's definitely a good thing. The beats are primarily mid-tempo, some really nice jazzy samples, some great bass lines, uh, dark but it's not too dark menacing, but not to the point of, you know, being cheesy or too horrorcore-ish. And the rapping on this thing is just great, man. Imagine a really dope mix of Tyler the Creator and Big Lurch. And I know that sounds weird, but it actually works really well, especially with his great way of not falling into a clear bucket. You know, he's got lyrics 
for those that love the more braggadocious shit. He's got lyrics for those that love the more comic book and cartoon kind of nerdy shit. He's got lyrics for those who, who enjoy the more introspective type of lyrics, which I actually hope we hear more of on his full length next year. So this EP serves as a quick introduction or appetizer for the record that comes out next year. You know, it's, it's, it's 14 minutes of straight hip hop that I feel like a lot of you guys would enjoy. And honestly, it's, it's 14 minutes that were a better listen than some people's whole 40 minute long album that we had to review this year. And uh, I won't say any names, but I'm gonna go ahead and sip some of this almond milk. But yeah, if you have not heard this, make sure you go click the link in the description section down there and give it a listen. If you have heard it, make sure you let me know what you guys thought about it. And shit, if you enjoyed it, make sure you keep a lookout for the album coming out next year, January 27th on Strange Famous Records. And yeah, go support Strange Famous. Go support Fake Four. Go support independent hip hop. And as usual, thank you for living. Thank you for loving. Thank you for being you. And I'll see you guys next time. All right.